Okay, so here's my setup, and I'll show you guys how you count the strides out. I just did a two stride, and Buck is a very short strided horse at the moment, so I did him a little shorter than I would a longer legged horse that covers the ground. So the first jump is a little 12 inch X. I don't leave much room for a landing on that. And four large strides of mine equals about one canter stride for a horse. And then I leave a little bit of a takeoff for that 18 inch vertical. And I decided to get on Comet before I started free jumping with Buck. Um, I usually like to ride him at least once, maybe twice a week. And then my boyfriend rides him once, maybe twice a week as well. So he's 22 years old, he's totally retired. I got him as a lesson horse as I used to run a lesson program. He used to be a hunter jumper horse. He has never really evented, although I have taken him to a couple combined training shows in the past and he's done well with that. Um, he doesn't really come up into a big nice frame. I just kind of let him plod along with a low head and just a relaxed walk trot canter. So we trotted over some trot poles. I was just kind of practicing my two point over the trot poles. Um, and then I like to do some not lateral work before I ever jump, but I do like to have them moving off of my leg aids. So here I'm doing a spiral circle into a canter transition. So moving from a smaller circle into a larger circle with my inside leg moving to the outside aids. And I like to practice this before I jump a horse just to make sure I have maneuverability to get them like say they're going to the outside of the jump and I want them more in the center just to make sure they're moving off my leg aids. So we did that a little bit and we cantered both ways over this little ground pole and did the spiral circle going the other way. So I'm doing a sitting trot and I start in a larger circle and I slowly move him in to a smaller circle using my outside leg to push him in. And then when I get to a smaller circle, I open my outside rein close my inside rein and use my inside leg to push him back out to a larger circle. And he does well with this. He's kind of a little push button horse. Um, so I just do that and then come into my canter transitions. Um, I'm not asking him to come in any kind of frame. I just want him to have a lower headset and just be nice and cool and comfortable. So he's a pretty good boy. He's a little push button horse that just kind of plods along as you please. So here we're going to do a flying lead change from left to right lead over the ground pole. I like to do that both ways before I do any jumping. I was too lazy to set up other jumps so I just popped Comet through this chute I had already made for Buck and I didn't ride this very well. It was a very long takeoff to the second jump. I thought he would just kind of plod right through that with the easy two strides. So I brought him down to a one, two, three stride and took it a little short as well. And I didn't do too much with him. It was really hot and very humid and he's out of shape and I'm out of shape. So we ended with that and then I moved on to Buck and we did a walk trot canter on the lunge line. I didn't want to bore you guys with that. And we did it over trot poles and over the ground pole at the canter. And then I set up this little jump that uh, he could practice jumping. And he's just so funny that he will do it no problem one way. And then you change and go the other way and there's a problem. It seems like everything we do, there's always a problem doing it on the other side or going the other way. So with that little stop, I didn't reprimand. He just doesn't know any better. I just lowered it down and had him go over it lowered down and then raised it back up and try it again. That was the only stop he had done with this little exercise. So he gets lots and lots of praise whenever he goes over and no reprimanding when he doesn't go over. And there he actually picked up all four feet off the ground. So we moved on to the chute, and as you can see, he's not the scopiest thing in the world. And we had a little bit of trouble. That was the only time he refused with the chute, which was pretty good. Um, so he's just kind of muddling his way through. Um, he doesn't try to escape once he's in the chute, and he continues to go forward, which is good. And here he was kind of backing off from it. 
So I was asking him to move forward before I let him go. And he finally canters up to it. I know he did a really funny two and a half stride, but he cantered to the jump and he actually took all four feet off the ground. So we were done for the day. <laughs> Look like mom now. We're done for the day. Beautiful sunset. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. Say bye, jumper boys. <laughs>